Hello Power Apps Makers, this is Ahmed Saleh again and today I have a quick tutorial for how we can open or download multiple files that are stored in Dataverse table in a file column. I have this solution right here and I have two tables only, it's one for student applications and each application can have uh, or can have multiple records as attachments in a table that I call attachments. So let's take a look for this quick model driven app that I have here. I'm going to go ahead and play this app. So we have these four attachments and if you can check that we have different type of attachments. We have a, a resume attachment here to this application. It's a PDF file. We have another PDF file could be anything else. Uh, we have an Excel file. This is an image file and then we have an Excel file as well. So these are the four attachments that we have now and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create a new Canvas app. And this Canvas app I will just call it Download Dataverse Table Attachments. I'm going to go ahead and create and for the design I will just have a, a gallery to have the applications so it will be blank vertical gallery table I will select let's get my applications table and I will go ahead and insert a label here this will have the application ID I will copy this and we'll just have the student name in this case as you can see here we have two applications at this time and these are the application IDs I'm gonna go ahead and make this gallery a little bit narrower right here and I'm gonna go ahead and add another gallery and this gallery will have the attachment table and the value it's going to be there in the items property it will be our gallery name where we have the application so whenever we select an application we want to just show this application attachment so it's dot selected it's dataverse so we can just go ahead and call our child table and then here is going to be the basically the lookup column that we have from this which is attachment table attachment sorry then let's go ahead and click one of these we don't have any attachment for this we have some attachment for this other applications so I'm gonna go ahead and add a, this is created on and then we can just have more information here uh, we can have the attachment content dot the file name that we have so these are the files that we have right here for this application so I come to this gallery if I go to the template fill just uh, try to show the selected item in this gallery so if this item is selected I want to just have any color really so it's gonna be light let's say light gray so this is the selected item so I know I'll, I have all these attachments for this selected item. so what I want to do is I want with one click of a button so I'm gonna go ahead and add a button right here we'll just call it download all attachments and we want to download all these attachments in this gallery right here so to do that we're going to use the for all function so we're going to loop through all these items so on the on select property of this button we'll go ahead and use the for all function all the items in gallery 2 which is the attachments dot all items 
then we can use the function called download. And the function download, it will take a URL. So now from where we can get this URL. So let's go back to our app here, this is model driven app. If you have a model driven app, that will be one way to do it. If not, I will leave the URL in the description of this video so you can just manipulate that URL for your own uh, environment. So if I go to any one of these records and I actually have an attachment here, so if I hover over this attachment right here, and I click right click, I can go ahead and copy the link. This is the link I need. So I'm gonna come here and in my download function, let's actually have it in a new line so we can have it clear. I'm gonna go ahead and start by open quotations right here, double quotations. And this is basically the download function that we have. So we have an extra parenthesis right here. Go ahead and format. This is the download function, right? And this is the URL. So if I go there, it will actually only download this file now, the resume. That's the only file. So let's actually do that. Play the app. Click here. You can see it's actually downloaded this file right here. If I go and open it. And you can see it op has opened this file right here. But what if I want to actually download all these files? So I'm going to come again here. Let's actually clear all my downloads right here. Perfect. So going back to our for all function. So the URL is the same. The only thing that we are going to change is this. This is the GUID. And this is actually the unique identifier of our attachment table. So if you come to our solution again, and if I go to my tables, my attachments, columns, let's get our system column here or our custom columns, we'll see that we have this column where it says unique identifier. So we need the GUID, which is the record GUID, unique identifier of the record in the table attachments. Going back here, to do that, what we need to do is, I'm gonna close this by a double quotation here, use the and sign, another double quotation, and then another sign right here. Right? And the value we'll put here, it's going to be the dynamic GUID value for all the items we have in the gallery, which in this case, all the attachments record. So to do that, we can use this record. And the name of, or to get the GUID value is basically you have a column, as you can see here, we have this column called attachments. Usually the GUID, the unique identifier is created automatically every time you create a table in Dataverse. So, and it's always going to have the name of the table that you created. So you can see it's attachments. So going back here, we can go ahead, this record dot attachments, and you can see this is the plural name of my table. That's what is the GUID is. And that's it. Let's go ahead and try it. We're going to go home, play the app, download attachments. And you can see I have the attachments has been download it for me and these are the four attachments as you can see so i have the excel file i have the image and i have two pdfs as i have shown you there again my settings in my browser is to give me the option to say where to save them you can have it automatically i can also open them as needed so i can open for example the image as you can see here or i can open actually the excel file as you can see here and obviously you can save it and we have these two PDF as we showed you before. And the last one we have is. Actually, if I want to come here, click download. And the last one is this last PDF right here. So this is how we do it again. It's the for all function using the download. The only trick is how to get this URL. Again, the URL is your environment. URL forward slash API data slash V9.0. And this is the logical name 
of your table. That's the table, which is the attachment table. So if I come here to my tables and go click in these three dots, go to advanced tools, and then copy the logical name. And this is the name that we have right here. So let's just go ahead and confirm that. So it's the logical name in the plural format. That's the tricks. And then here is going to be the record, the GUID of each column or record, sorry. And then over here, we have the column name forward slash the column name, the logical name, then forward slash basically you need the value. So this is basically the URL that you're going to use. I hope that you find this video useful and I will see you next time. Bye now.